Year one was awesome. You know, I just, um, I'm really proud of our group, honestly. I never really talk about the individual accolades, but it doesn't mean I don't recognize it. Being coach of the year and national rookie coach of the year was, was amazing. I mean, it was a tremendous accomplishment. But what I'm more excited about is what we did as a team, you know, breaking records and 26 and 4, 15 and 0 at home, uh, winning a regular season championship. It was just, it was just disappointing how it ended but just a lot to be proud of, you know, and I just hope it fuels our fire for this season just because we didn't get to finish. It's hard to put it into words. Um, you know, the whole season we talked about playing for March, you know, positioning ourselves to get ready to make another run in the NCAA tournament. You know, last year was all about proving ourselves and just proving that the Sweet 16 run the, the year before was not a fluke. So um, to prepare the whole season for March and get to March and just have it abruptly end was hard, you know, and it was really heartbreaking just to see our kids so sad. Um, just to, honestly, when I was looking at them, it just felt like, you know, they were lifeless there on the bus. Couldn't believe it. Everybody's in shock. Um, but I just think that, you know, everything happens for a reason. There's a lot of blessings uh, that, that we're still grateful for. There was a lot of accomplishments that season. Um, we're healthy. You know, we're alive. There's so much to be blessed and thankful for. So going into this season, it's a different mindset. You know, we don't want to have that feeling again. We don't want to take things for granted. Not that we did, but uh, we just want to use the end of last year to fuel us to start off really well this year and then continue to make progress throughout the season. I want to see us be more consistent on defensive end. I want to see our post defense get better. Uh, I want to see our guards be able to, you know, keep people in front without us having to be in rotations a lot. I thought our defense was really good a lot of the time, but I thought there was times where we, we got tired or we just didn't, we didn't have enough urgency on the defensive end. So I want to see that be a little bit more, uh, more consistent for us. Offensively, I just want those that are used to being or deferring or just being unselfish to be a little bit more selfish. Not that I want a selfish team. I just think that we have some scores on this team that need more confidence and need to put the basket in the hole a little bit more. So, you know, our scoring was pretty spread out last year, but I just think that we could be a team that averages five people in double figures um, because we are unselfish. But I just want people to play with more confidence and fill it up a little bit more. I like this group. I love this group. You know, I loved our group last year. I love this group this year. I just think that we're a deep team. I think we're, we're a versatile team. We're an unselfish team and we're close. You know, I really love the synergy of this group. Um, they, they, they get each other, they play for each other, they play for us. I love the synergy of our staff. We have new additions on our staff um, and the camaraderie we have there. So I, I really do appreciate our Lady Bear family and I think that we have something special here.